welcome back if you've been with me to Shacy Tarot before. And if you're brand new to Shacy Tarot, welcome to my channel. I thank you very much for being here. And Happy New Year if you're watching this in the New Year. And for those of you that just finished Christmas, I hope you had an amazing Christmas holiday. I'm going to get started. I've been shuffling and meditating on your cards. And I also have this sage here burning for your cards and clearing them right now. And it's beautiful. And we will go ahead and get started when the cards drop for you. If you've been with me before, you know that I wait for them to drop for you. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from December 26th to January 5th, 2019. And they're already starting to drop out for you. Now, whenever you're feeling this energy that I'm reading, I do not read reversals, you will know it. You will feel it. Do not force it. If this does not resonate for you, it is not meant for you, okay? Definitely, that was too many cards that came out. I'm going to reshuffle those. When you're feeling it is when it is meant for you. Do not force it. Anything can happen anytime, okay? Some of these energies may be occurring for you right now. Some may be occurring weeks from now, two months from now, six months from now. You understand what I'm saying? This is a timeless video. Whenever you're feeling that this is your life story, this is what's happening right now, then this is what's happening for you right now. And then it's meant for you, okay? Please hit the like, subscribe, and share. I will get into everything for you in a moment. I am just shuffling your cards right now. And I will go ahead and get started in a moment. I'm going to try to make it so that you can see all of these cards. That's why I got the bigger table, right? It was so you could see everything. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. If this resonates for you, it's fantastic, okay? And that means that you may want to take advantage of the extended version, which will be available below. If you've been with me before, you know that it's in the description box. When you hit the little arrow down, there'll be a description box. For those of you that have been with me before and you don't want to hear this, you can go ahead and fast forward your video a little bit. When there's an extended reading, okay, you want to take advantage of it because I pull a lot more cards, a lot more clarifier cards that will definitely tell you a lot more in depth of what I feel is going on here for you, okay, if it's resonating for you initially in the first video. You will want to take advantage of that. I pull a lot more cards from other decks, including the Enchanted Tarot here, which are 20 to 25 years old. And they really jump out for me. They really help clarify a lot of cards. And I pull Angel's uh, Romance Angel deck here from Doreen Virtue that you will get some love messages from the angels and as well as a Colette Baron Reed. These are gorgeous, beautiful tarot cards. It's a new twist on the Rider weight. Sometimes you'll get double clarification of any of these cards. Let's go ahead and get started. You get the point. There's a lot more in-depth reading. It's another 15 plus or minus video, so it's well worth it. And it's less than half the price right now, so totally take advantage of you. Take advantage of that for yourself if this is resonating, if you're feeling this is your story. Well, right off the bat, one, two, three major arcanas here for you, Scorpio. So let's see what's happening since the last video. I'm trying to remember what happened in your last video. Um, I believe somebody's coming forward to you to make a love offer, and it looked like fast-forward movement and changes that were destined to be. I believe that was your last video. I will have to go back and check. I haven't had time to do that, but the High Priestess is a major arcana, so you're really spiritual, I'm feeling, right now, and trusting your intuition. You're trusting your gut feeling, you're going within, and you're really trying to trust that intuition and that guidance and your inner voice is telling you things. You're feeling that maybe some things could be hidden right now, or maybe some things are hidden from you right now, and that's why you're trusting your, your inner guides and your intuition, because things you feel are hidden right now that you're unaware of, perhaps. Okay, and so maybe you're taking the time to sort of go within and find some clarity for yourself. You're single right now, I'm feeling. Or you might be in a, in a love relationship that's unclear right now. That could be. Take it how it resonates. But this hermit is about possibly going through a period of being single. But also not only that, but going inside for personal truth and analyzing everything. I believe you're analyzing everything, and Scorpios do. I'm a Scorpio. We definitely analyze things. Sometimes we overanalyze things. But this is, this is looking for insight and healing right now. There may be something that's hidden from you right now that you're unaware of. You may be trusting that intuition, like I said, and that gut feeling and taking that time to go within. 
and you may feel a very deep emotional love bond towards somebody because the two of cups is something that is a soulmate twin flame relationship that's guided here by the angels and it's it signifies usually a very deep soul union okay so that could be why you're taking the time to sort of trust your intuition about um, somebody that uh, you feel is your twin flame or your soulmate the nine of pentacles signifies also somebody that's abundant on their own this could be you again you've got the hermit card going within finding clarity um, trying to soul search analyze things and maybe you're abundant right now on your own maybe you're going within to try and decide whether or not this relationship is for you because you're feeling abundant on your own so you're trying to find some clarity and trust your intuition and your gut feeling and analyze things about perhaps this relationship or whomever you're thinking about on having this deep soul union with okay because you know that this is divinely guided you're feeling it you're trusting your intuition on this that's how i'm feeling Okay, please clarify the moon card for Scorpio, please. Clarify the moon card for Scorpio. Why is the moon card here, please, Spirit? Death and transformation, that's your card. Okay, you could be transforming right now. I'm going through a period of transformation right now. That could be. You're adjusting, you're healing, you're going within. Ah, six of wands, reunion from someone from your past, a twin mate, soul mate relationship here that is divinely guided. That's how I'm feeling. And you're going within to analyze and find clarity because maybe there are things hidden that you don't know about right now. So you're trying to trust your intuition. You're using your spiritual guides to guide you right now. That's how I'm feeling. But I'm also feeling that you're becoming abundant on your own. Or you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. I have that here as well as a Virgo. Could be dealing with another Scorpio. But I feel it's more the energy of the cards than it is the sign of the cards. Let's continue on here. So when I asked for clarification for the Moon card, it brought about the Death and Transformation card and the Six of Cups. So I'm feeling that... You're transforming or someone else is transforming right now, going through a transformation. And it's going to bring about this happy twin flame soulmate relationship. And I believe that something's just you're unaware of right now, perhaps, and you're trusting your inner guides and your intuition, right? You're going within to find clarity and you're analyzing everything. That's what I feel you're doing, Scorpio. Let me know in the comment section how this resonates for you. And again, if it does, totally take advantage of, of the uh, extended version because it's well worth it. You've got the Three of Wands. So you're waiting for everything to come together. You're looking out and you're waiting for those ships to come in. Okay, you're waiting for progress. You're waiting to find out what happens next. You may be thinking about even traveling or expanding. Or you could be just working really, really hard on your money and your coins to become abundant on your own or you're becoming abundant on your own okay but you or your love interest is waiting for the ships to come in and things to change and it could be both of you you could be waiting and looking at a distance wondering when this reunion is going to take place and i believe somebody is going through a period of transformation and healing and adjusting right now this could be them going as the hermit this could be them of having a period of being single and going within for truth and clarity and trying to make decisions okay this could be your love interest. This could be both of you. What's happening with Scorpio and love? What other love messages can you give Scorpio, please? For December 26th to January 5th, 2019. What other love messages do you have? Scorpio, please. What other love messages do you have for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Remember, this is a general reading. If you'd like a private reading, go to shasee.com, S-H-A-S-I-E.com. All that information is also below in the description box. And I can certainly figure out your moon and your rising for you. All I need is your birth date, um, your time of birth, and the location of your birth. I can certainly figure that out for you. I don't mind. And I can give you a private reading of your choice. There's all different choices on my website. There's live. You can request a live reading through Skype or FaceTime or a video link. 
and you can watch it at your leisure you know kick up your feet grab a cup of coffee sit down watch the reading at your leisure you can certainly do that whatever you feel the most comfortable with go to shacy.com and it's more geared to your energy this is a general reading so some things will resonate and some things won't okay Scorpio, please. What are their love messages? Do you have for Scorpio, please, Spirit? What are their love messages do you have for Scorpio? What other love messages do you have for Scorpio, please? What other love messages do you have for Scorpio, please, Spirit? What other love messages do you have for Scorpio, please? What other love messages do you have for Scorpio? Okay. We have, well, we have the Eight of Wands. So this is forward movement, okay? This is either news coming in by text messages, fast messages. This is forward movement in some kind of news. Wand energy is Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, okay? Doesn't have to be. Again, I go more in the energy of cards. This is somebody wanting to come forward with speed and action, News is arriving either by air travel or by means of text messages, um, messenger messages, however you communicate, okay? Like I said, somebody could be at a distance from you and wanting to come forward and have this reunion after they have gone through a death and transformation, realizing that this is a twin flame soulmate relationship. That's how I'm feeling because of how this has come in in a row of being a reunion reunited with someone from the past or feeling like you've known somebody all your life and and being at, at a distance I'm feeling with the eight of wands next to here wanting to close that distance in and have that reunion and give some kind of news somebody's had some clarity aces are all about beginnings brand new beginnings this is death and transformation brought about a new beginning usual ace of swords is about mental clarity okay swords is all about making decisions somebody has had a new idea or mental clarity the hermit they've taken the time to soul search and go within and find out answers and analyze everything okay they've been soul searching i feel and have had some kind of mental clarity about this soulmate twin flame relationship maybe they want to travel and come towards you or vice versa, I'm feeling this is them, and have this reunion, or maybe you both do, okay? But you're at a distance from one another, so they may be coming through through air travel to come and see you and tell you they've had this mental clarity. Ah, could be an earth sign. This has come out in almost every one of your readings. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or somebody taking on that energy. This king is very grounded, very solid, very practical. They believe in marriage, they believe in tradition, they believe in family, and they believe in a solid, grounded relationship, okay? They bring stability. They crave stability. You could have an earth sign in your life or somebody fitting that energy, okay, after a period of heartbreak. I believe they've gone through a period of heartbreak, maybe a previous third-party relationship with the moon here. Okay, they may have gone through a period of transformation, clarity, and they haven't told you yet. That may be what's hidden from you right now. Maybe you're unsure. Let's go ahead and clarify that. And clarify the Three of Swords for Scorpio. Wow, that was super quick. Magician, I believe they've been manifesting you however you both have. Someone has been trying to turn their visions into reality and putting in the work here to make things happen. Could be both of you. Okay, I believe you both have because Scorpio, you are a natural magician. You are a natural magician. You turn visions into reality quite easily. Okay, if you're in the right frame of mind, you can definitely turn any vision into reality. I believe this is both of you manifesting after a period of heartbreak. Okay, a couple more cards and we're going to go to your extended. Please clarify the moon card for Scorpio. What's hidden, please, Spirit? What is hidden from Scorpio? Is there something hidden from Scorpio? Jeez. Okay, this is wanting to jump out. The Ten of Swords. So this is definitely something that ended for somebody. And they went through death and transformation. That may be what's, what's hidden here. You may not know that something has ended 
for somebody else, maybe uh, your love interest, something has ended for them. They've gone through a period of heartbreak or it's the end of a third party relationship. However that may resonate for you, it doesn't matter. This is heartbreak. This is an ending. Tens are all about completion. This is an ending. This is a brand new beginning. Clarity. Brand new beginning. Went in for clarity. Went in for personal truth. Analyzed everything. Okay. Scorpio, please. Scorpio in love. What else can you tell Scorpio in love, please, Spirit? They, because that, that may, when I clarified that, that tells me that they may have hidden that there was an ending here that you may not be aware of. They may have ended something with somebody else you're not aware of in order to have this reunion, possibly. Let me know how this resonates for you, Scorpio. Or you may have ended something. Wow, okay. Hmm, this is looking really good, Scorpio. I mean, there was definite heartbreak here, but what must go down must come back up. Death and transformation was meant to happen. Same as a twin flame soulmate relationship, okay? Everybody here looks like you and your love interest are trusting your intuition. And this was a hitting rock bottom is a ten of swords. Completion. The aces bring about new beginnings, signify new beginnings. With possibly an earth sign or somebody taking on the quality. Heartbreak. Manifesting. Turning the visions into reality. Somebody may have wished for something to end so that they could have this new beginning. That is a possibility because now, wow, Scorpio, you have the sun. Most desired card of the deck, this and the Ten of Cups and the Wish card, which you just got again right next to the sun. The sun has come out. This is complete abundance, happiness, joy, relationship growing, moving to the next level quite possibly, or it's all over Overall, sorry, abundance, health, wealth, happiness. Okay, this is growth here. See, everything's growing. Everything's shining. Everybody's happy. Nine of Cups, wish granted, wish fulfillment after something ended. I believe someone manifested something to end. Somebody wanted the end of heartbreak so that it would bring about the sun and wish fulfillment. So that it would bring out this happy reunion, a soulmate twin flame relationship. That's what I'm feeling, okay? If you haven't met anybody yet, maybe this reading either isn't for you or maybe this is going to happen in the future, but you have to get out there to meet somebody for this to happen. This is what I'm feeling. This is the energy I'm feeling. I'm feeling that something ended for somebody. They kept a few things hidden, a few things secret. Perhaps it's something ended because they wanted to come in and tell somebody they're at a distance from you or vice versa. But I believe this is their energy I'm picking up. They went within. They analyzed everything. They went through death and transformation and ending a brand new beginning, a period of heartbreak. Okay. And uh, it, the ending brought in this brand new beautiful beginning and wish fulfillment. The sun's coming out. A reunion is going to happen. And it's a twin twin flame soulmate relationship. This is beautiful. Let's go to the extended version and find out what happens next, Scorpio. I will pull a lot more cards. We will clarify. Sometimes we will get doubles of, of other cards, which signifies definitely that's, that's what's going on. That's what's happening. I will pull some cards from my Enchanted Tarot from 20 to 25 years ago. We'll get some clarifies on that, as well as the Colette Baron Reed. Okay, take advantage of that. It's well worth it. It's another 15 plus or minus video or request that private reading at shacy.com. All the information is below. I thank you so much for being here. I hope you had an amazing Christmas and happy new year. I wish you all the best in the new year. And for those this resonated with, thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you at that extended read right down below in the description box. Thank you, Scorpio. Bye-bye.